أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل جاء الحق وزهق الباطل إن الباطل كان زهوقا وننزل من القرآن ما هو شفاء ورحمة للمؤمنين ولا يزيد الظالمين إلا خسارة Number one, he was reluctant to die. He didn't want to die. He didn't come prepared to come for any type of sacrifice. Luke chapter 22 verse 36, you'll find he's preparing for a fight. And he had he come to die, there was no need for him to tell his disciples to go and arm themselves. Number two, he beseeched God for help. Matthew chapter 26 verse 39. Number three, God heard his prayers. Hebrews chapter 5 verse 7. Number four, an angel of God came to strengthen him. Luke chapter 22 verse 43. Pilate finds Jesus not guilty. It's good reason to keep Jesus alive. John chapter 18 verse 38. Number six, Pilate's wife shown a dream in which she was told that no harm should come to this just man. In the other words, that you should be saved alive. Matthew chapter 27 verse 19. Number seven, supposed to be on the cross for only three hours. According to the system in vogue, no man could die by crucifixion in so short a time, which means that even if he was fastened to the cross, he was alive. Number eight, the other two, his crossmates on the, on the respective crosses were alive. So Jesus too, for the same period of time, must be alive. Number nine, Encyclopedia Biblica under article cross, column 960 says that when the spear was thrust, Jesus was alive. We didn't write the Encyclopedia Biblica. Number 10, and when they launched him on the side with the spear, so forth with they came out blood and water, which is a sign of life. Number 11, his legs not broken as a fulfillment of prophecy. As the legs can be of any use only if Jesus was alive. And this is a fulfillment of prophecy, says the Christian. He keepeth all his bones, not one of them is broken. Psalms chapter 24 verse 20. Number 12, there was a thunderstorm, earthquake and darkening of the sun all within three hours to disperse, to disperse the sadistic mob to enable his secret disciples to help keep him alive. Number 13, the Jews doubted his death. They suspected that he had escaped death on the cross, that he was alive. And now the next day, the next day, they go to Pilate, the chief priests and Pharisees come together into Pilate saying, Sir, we remember so and so, and we don't want to make another mistake like we had made in the first, that the last error shall be worse than the first error. Now they want to make doubly sure, but they missed the bus. Number 14, Pilate marvels to hear that Jesus was dead. So Pilate marveled if he were already dead, and calling to him the centurion, he asked him whether he had been any while dead. Mark chapter 15 verse 44 Number 15 Big and roomy chamber Big roomy chamber Close at hand and Big and airy For willing hands to come to the rescue Providence was out to keep Jesus alive Number 16 Stone and winding sheets had to be removed Only necessary if Jesus was alive John chapter 20 verse 1 Number 17, report on the winding sheets. German scientists who carried out experiments on the shroud of Turin said that the heart of Jesus had not stopped functioning, that he was alive. Number 18, he was ever in disguise. Disguise not necessary if Jesus was resurrected. Only necessary if he was alive. John chapter 21 verse 4. 
number 19, he forbade Mary Magdalene to touch him, touch me not, for this reason that it would hurt, because he was alive, John chapter 20 verse 17. Number 20, not yet ascended unto my father, in the language of the Jew, in the idiom of the Jew, he was saying, I am not dead yet. In other words, I am alive. John chapter 20 verse 17. Number 21. Mary Magdalene not afraid on recognizing Jesus because she had seen signs of life before. She was looking for a Jesus who was alive. John chapter 20 verse 16. Number 22. His disciples petrified on seeing Jesus in the upper room. All the knowledge about the crucifixion was from hearsay. Therefore, they could not believe that Jesus was alive. Number 23. Add food again and again in his post-crucifixion appearances. Food only necessary if he was alive. Luke chapter 24 verse 43. Number 24. Never showed himself to his enemies because he had escaped death by the skin of his teeth. He was alive. Number 25. Took only short trips because he was not resurrected, not spiritualized, but alive. He went to Emmaus. He went to the upper room. Back again after eight days. He only took short trips because he was not resurrected. Otherwise, he would have gone up to heaven. Number 26. Testimony of men around the tomb. They say, why seek ye the living among the dead? Why are you looking for a live person among dead people in the cemetery? Luke chapter 24 verse 4 and 5. Number 27. Testimony of the angel. The angels who had said that he was alive. He did not say resurrected, but the actual word uttered by the angels was alive. Luke chapter 24 verse 23. 28. Mary Magdalene testifies. They heard that he was alive and had been seen by her. They believed not. Mark 16, 11. Mary did not watch for a spook or a ghost or spirit of Jesus, but a live Jesus. Number 29. Dr. Primrose, a senior anesthetist of the Royal Glasgow Infirmary, he says that the water in the blood was an account of scourging by staves and upset of the nervous vessels, that which was a sure sign that Jesus was alive. And now, the last and final one for tonight, Jesus had himself foretold that he was going to remain alive. Mark, Matthew chapter 12, verse 38, 39, 40. He himself had told that he was not to die. That is his prophecy. The only sign I'm giving you is the sign of Jonah. What happened to Jonah is going to happen to me. The miracle of Jonah is my miracle. But we are asking, was Jonah. Dead or alive. Jews say he was alive. And the Christians say he was alive. And the Muslims say he was alive. 